Uh, usually I'm a big believer and everybody has a voice that when it comes to something there are two sides to every story and that everybody should have their time and their place to be heard. However, with that said, sometimes I really am not a big fan of that and one case in particular where that applies is Bill DeMott. Now, there are certain people when it comes to professional wrestling, I look and I see it, I get it, I understand why certain people are in the positions that they're in. However, there are also certain people like Bill DeMott that I look at and say, frankly, what the fuck did they ever do? What the fuck have they ever accomplished to ever been afforded the position that they ultimately were? Bill DeMott, to me, clearly fits into that category. And some of the things that he was accused of, now maybe he got a huge erection off of it, I don't know, but it most certainly wasn't anything that we could classify as humorous. You see what I did there? Yeah. That's about the best thing about Bill DeMott's freaking career ever. So you put this guy, who really never accomplished much of anything in the business, in charge of training young people, and, and that seems to be a good idea why. And especially this guy who seems to get off on bullying people. This goes back to the tough enough days. This goes way, way back. So I don't think the fact that he was accused of racist, sexist, homophobic things is surprising to anyone. This kind of sounds like par for the course. It seems pretty much to be spot on point from what we would know and what we've gathered and learned about a built amount over the years. I was... I would say this, I was somewhat interested to hear what he would have to say about this when he got his chance and his opportunity, because I wanted to hear just what type of BS he was going to spew out of his diary hole. Well, apparently Vince Russo, imagine that, decided to give Bill DeMott that chance and give him that opportunity to have his voice heard. And, you know, when Bill DeMott talked, you had to know that nothing but a bunch of bullshit was ultimately going to come out of it. I really wish this guy would just go the fuck away. Bill DeMott, to me, is a perfect example of, oftentimes in the wrestling business, it's not what you've done, it's who you do, uh, who you screw, or who you know. Period. Because the fact that anybody would ever put them in him in charge of their freaking training for their young wrestlers is absolutely astounding to me. And of course, instead of answering to the allegations directly, and who knows what type of legal implications there are, and maybe there's a reason why he didn't, he sat there and set out to, of course, do what so many guilty parties usually do, that's play the victim game, and play the victim of circumstance game, and blame others, and make others responsible. And some of the terrible, dumb, idiotic things he said, including the fact, basically, that it's always the coach's fault, it's never the quarterback's fault. And he used kind of an analogy involving Tony Romo, which was pretty bad because while, yes, Romo will always have his defenders, there are an awful lot of detractors. And when it comes to somebody like a Tony Romo, you dipshit, maybe you should get your facts straight because there are many times that Romo does get the heat for his poor performances in big-time key situations and for Cowboys' losses. And sometimes, frankly, that's merited, and sometimes that's not. But to sit there and say that a quarterback like him doesn't get blame is absolutely ludicrous. We're not talking about a Peyton Manning here, where when his team wins, he gets 90 to 95% of the credit, but when his team loses, 90 to 95% of the blame is deflected away to others, and that's exactly what the fuck happens. You brought up Tony Romo. This guy gets plenty of blame. And your analogy is terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Especially compared to your situation. You're blaming people that you were oppressing in a way. You're blaming people that you were victimizing. And you're saying that they're the problem when you, asshole Bill DeMott, you're the problem. You're sitting there and say, complaining about having to kato to them and having to sit there and placate to them and appeal to them and having to babysit them. Well, you know, could that just be a simple instance of 
maybe bigger problems within the WWE in terms of the talent that they bring in? Could it also be the fact of just because things used to be done a certain way and that type of bullying that was pulled off 20, 30 years ago was viewed to be okay doesn't mean it is now. This whole notion that this millennial generation feels so entitled and is so screwed up is absolutely astounding to me. Because if we took, look at it really, truly seriously, what the fuck has Bill DeMott's generation ever done that's been so spectacular? I mean, seriously. They're the generation that has voted in gay marriage bans in numerous states. They're the generation that widely supported the fucking Iraq War! They're the generation that will sit there and try and tell you that Ronald Reagan was this bastion of great conservatism. They're the generation that will sit there and say Bill Clinton just had a zipper problem, but he was a really good president. All this bullshit! The fuck did that generation do that was so great to where they could sit there and talk shit about any other freaking generation? Seriously! And this whole notion that millennials feel so entitled, this is just old people fucking talk. It's exactly what it is. It's the exact same crap the worthless generation before Bill DeMott said about his generation and that generation before had said about his parents' generation and so on and so forth. It's just a bunch of bitter, sour grapes. And if he's going to sit there and say that the reason that people are complaining is because of sour grapes and they're mad because their career didn't turn out the way they envisioned, well, no shit! If I had somebody using a bunch of racist, sexist, homophobic shit towards me and putting me in a bunch of bad, awkward situations, taking advantage of me and bullying the fuck out of me, I'd probably have sour grapes too. Especially in part if I felt that that treatment is what led to me not being able to ultimately achieve and reach my full potential and ultimately fulfill my dreams. The fact that people have sour grapes about that is not necessarily a reflection upon them just having sour grapes because they're mad. It's a reflection of the situation that they were in because you, Bill DeMott, fucking put them in that situation. That's how you know somebody like a Bill DeMott is guilty. He doesn't give you anything good. He doesn't counter you with any evidence or facts. He counters you with a bunch of spinmeister bullshit. And it's one thing for somebody like a Vince Russo to give him, give him the opportunity and the platform to say something. But then when you've got somebody like Vince Russo talking about examples of having to babysit people and doing all this, all you're doing is basically attempting to vindicate what the fuck Bill DeMott did. If he didn't look guilty before, he most certainly does now. You know, maybe if you're having trouble meet, reaching the millennial generation, maybe the problem isn't the millennial generation. Maybe the problem is you. Maybe, and not just maybe, I'm just going to say this. If your generation was so great, then why does the millennial generation have so many bastard babies? Oh, that's right, because we fucking learned from your generation, you dumb son of a bitch! Yours would have been the generation that was around around the time that abortion was made legal. Oh, that's a good one! Let's be proud of that one! Seriously. Yours is a generation full of stupidity. Yours is a generation of so many incredibly stupid things. And you, if anything, and your generation feel that you're entitled to some type of respect that, frankly, you haven't earned and you most certainly don't fucking deserve. The shameful thing about it is that you didn't run up on the wrong dude with your bullshit and they didn't beat the fucking shit out of you like you deserve to have the shit beat out of you. And the only reason they did that was because of fear. Fear of consequences, fear of repercussions, fear of being blacklisted, fear of being fired. And that was fear that you fed off of and that was fear that you lived off of. You sick, sadistic son of a bitch. How in the fuck does somebody like Bill DeMott matter? How the fuck did somebody like Bill DeMott ever get in a position where they could negatively impact any young wrestler's lives? These are questions that demand to be answered. These are questions that I don't think ever could be answered. Of all the people, seriously, that Triple H or Vince McMahon or whoever the fuck could put in charge 
of trading for the developmental territory. They chose Bill DeMott. All the people are sitting there praising Triple H and talking Triple H up and this and that and how great NXT is. He was responsible for Bill DeMott being in that position. Vince McMahon was responsible for Bill DeMott being in that position. If you say he didn't put him there, well, they kept him there for a long time. And they most certainly weren't in any great hurry to fucking get rid of him. They knew this shit was happening. They were complicit in it. They did nothing. It's this whole notion of, well, you got to come up the hard way and everything you got to do, you got to fucking earn it. Well, I tell you what, in this generation, as much as the older fucks from previous generations like to think that we feel that we're entitled, I assure you we feel no more entitled than any of the idiots that have come in any previous generation. And God knows in today's day and age, in so many facets of life, we have to work just as hard, if not harder, albeit in different and smarter ways because of the stupidity of previous generations such as yours. Hell, they get a halfway ass decent job nowadays. You gotta have a freaking college degree. Just to get a job a lot of times that pays 35, 40,000 a year. 30 years ago, you could have been a high school dropout and got that over time. Don't sit there and give me this shit about millennials being entitled. All you old fucks that think that, go fuck yourselves. If you think you're so star-spangled awesome and great, look at yourself in the fucking mirror. You want to know what's wrong with the previous generation? Somebody like you, Bill DeMott, is the attitude that he has. Instead of realizing the racist, sexist, homophobic shit that he did was wrong, he tries to blame it on the victims and say that they're full of sour grapes. Again. Who could blame him? You had to put up with that shit, you'd have sour grapes too. So once and for all, Bill DeMott goes the fuck away. And he's never allowed around any professional wrestling promotion ever again. And if any independent promotion actually ever brings him in to work a show, I hope everybody's smart enough to fucking boycott that shit. Fuck Bill DeMott and fuck his bullshit.